As a young First Nations leader, I think there are many ways in which we could recognize um, truth and reconciliation being implemented and embraced by staff of VCH. I think first and foremost the recognition of territory is important to acknowledge whose homelands you reside, work, live and play and recognize the truth part of reconciliation that we're coming through an era of legislative oppression under the Indian Act, uh, the first generations out of residential schools, finally being recognized as citizens in our own land, having the right to get an education, having the right to, uh, to legal recourse, uh, and the right to practice our cultures, which were all banned under Canadian law uh, prior to 1960. So we're not far removed from that uh, oppressive era of Canadian history. So to move beyond blame, shame and judgment, we need to look at what does the next vision look like? One that is collective, one that um, understands complex trauma associated with colonialism, that we are now entering a post-colonial era, one where the narrative is changing nation to nation and where we need to see the actions along with reconciliation. Reconciliation is not a destination, it's a journey. It's a strengthening of relationships. It's a coming together of Western management practices paired with uh, Indigenous knowledges and Indigenous science and ways of understanding that incorporate cultural and spiritual values, that recognize the value of our elders, uh, the value of our spiritual practitioners, the value of our culture, that create visible presence to create safety uh, in the hospitals and that recognize that um, many of the symptoms you're seeing as professionals are stemming from oppression and marginalization and abject poverty that has been uh, superimposed upon Indigenous peoples.